Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Relax and Stress Relief. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Now, the reason why, and I, I normally I say this be, before every recording really, the reason why I do relax and stress relief at the same time is because it's the same process. Or it can be the same process. Of course, it's, it's probably our plate times when it would be different. But a lot of the time, the process of releasing stress, reducing stress, and releasing and reducing chronic pain are the same process. It's the same procedure. So we can kind of cover both at the same time. I hope that makes sense. So if you're listening to reduce your stress or if you're listening to reduce your chronic pain, welcome. And before you listen any further, please make sure you know the cause of the chronic pain before you proceed. See a medical professional beforehand just to make sure you know the cause of that physical discomfort. Now, I'd like you to close your eyes. And before we do anything, I'd like you to focus on that area of discomfort on your body. And I realize the stress, you may feel it more in your mind, you know, than in your body. So if that's the case, focus on your mind with the stress. But there's a good chance you'll f be able to feel the stress in your body and one part of your body more so than others. And with the chronic pain, there's a very big chance that it's specifically in one part of your body. Although I do know that there, of course, there are conditions where the body, you know, the physical discomfort spreads around to different parts. But we're going to focus on the part which is the most problematic at this time. Okay. And then when the recording's finished, what you can do is just re-listen or you can in your own mind, in your own time, do what we've already done here and then focusing on some of the other parts of your body, maybe. And, you know, you can continue to do that until you feel satisfied and it's something you can practice and you can redo, but it might be easier just to listen, re-listen to this recording every day for a, maybe a week or so, just so you can allow yourself to gently let go of all stress and tension and any other physical feelings of discomfort can drift away from your body and your mind, leaving you feeling more comfortable, more positive towards now and the future, allowing you to be able to feel different. Maybe you won't understand why you feel different and it may be almost an uncomfortable feeling in a sense of having less of that discomfort that perhaps you've got used to will possibly feel weird not bad weird not horrible but just unusual and you may even find yourself starting to look for it. So let's say your the level of discomfort drops so that you've only got maybe 50% of it, and it dropped by 50%, which is a big drop. And you might, you might find yourself starting to look for that 50%. But where is it? Where's it gone? 
how can it just disappear? And how, how can, you might think to yourself, how can I just, by listening to this person, this voice on a recording on the internet, how can that change the way you feel? Changes the way you feel. How, how does that just by lying down with your eyes closed and your mind open, how, how does that allow you after a, a relatively short period of time to feel more relaxed? And when you feel more relaxed, any physical discomfort that you had before starts to reduce naturally. Especially when we focus on it. When we focus on that area. It becomes almost like a tug of war sometimes. Because you already know that you're starting to feel more comfort. But then there's that negative part of your mind, the part of your mind that it has become accustomed to the discomfort. And, and maybe you, over time, you may have started to really see yourself as being this physical discomfort. And that's natural. That can happen to all of us at times where we kind of lose track a little bit and start to really believe that that's all we are when it's never the case. It's never. We're never all anything. There's way too much involvement. There's way too much things going on inside us to be just one thing. We're never just our suffering. We're never just our pleasure. We're never just how we feel. There's more to us. We're humans. We have history. We have memories. We have a personality. There's more to you than how you physically feel in one part of your body. That cannot rule your life. And it won't, because you won't allow it. Because there's more to you than that. There's more going on inside your body and inside your mind than that one part, which is maybe causing you a problem. And then when you flip it on its side, and you realize it's not trying to cause you a problem. It's actually trying to help you. So that part of your body where you feel in discomfort, whether it's stress or otherwise, is trying to help you. It's trying to get your attention. Sometimes it can be as simple as to tell you be more careful. Be a bit more gentle with this part of your body. Or maybe take things a bit easier. Maybe start to relax more. Or maybe just start to relax. Maybe you haven't relaxed or attempted to calm your mind and your body and the muscles in your body continue to relax. Maybe you've not even attempted any of this for a long time or ever. So now, because you are doing that, and you're not alone, you're not doing it on your own, you're, you're with me, and... I've made many, many recordings. So this isn't just a one-off. I'll be making many, many more. 
So you can spend as little or as long period of time with me as you choose. And the more time you do spend listening to my voice, the more relaxed and calm, peaceful, and the more pleasure you can feel in your body and in your mind. There's that almost a sense of detox connected to listening to these recordings. Those negative feelings start to just remove themselves from your body and your mind. And positivity starts to develop. Or it's not even so much develop, it starts to get uncovered because maybe that positivity, the feelings, the good feelings, the feeling wonderful, maybe that was just buried been buried and uh, we've been focusing maybe too much on the other feelings that weren't so nice but once they start to crumble and break up start to dissolve and leave your body leave your body through your breath start to notice those feelings that maybe you've not had for a while or perhaps you have them but they're not they have not been uh, a particular strength they've just been there in the background feelings of confidence positivity feeling good about yourself you know just the general uh, looking forward to things. Those type of feelings connected with positivity, positive thoughts of your mind. Because when you think in that way, it produces feelings of pleasure. And like that tug of rope that I was talking about earlier, there's the two sides that are kind of, let's say not fighting, but having a, a tug of war, you know, with a rope. And the, the more you strengthen, the more you focus on the positive, nice, pleasant, happy feelings, the stronger that side of the rope becomes. And... There's nothing stronger than positivity. Happiness, kindness, kindness towards ourselves, a sense of peace, not just uh, the fact that you're doing something to help yourself, which in itself is an amazing thing. And that sense of gratitude and well-being can really trickle deep into your body and mind. That's a powerful feeling. And maybe you notice it as you think about it. The fact that you're doing okay. And you, you alone, have chosen to make these changes so that you can experience more pleasure. You can experience more of those feelings. That just feel nice. You know, just generally feel nice where you feel calm, peaceful, positive. You know, you wish others well. You hear good news about other people and it, you feel good inside. You wish yourself well. 
you look forward to the future. You start to notice that the, there is and there are things to look forward to. And perhaps you can start to add more of those things to look forward to so that you can feel happier more of the time as you think about the future and all the wonderful experiences that lay ahead for you. And the more time you give to these ideas, the more you start to expect to feel pleasure, to feel relaxed, to feel peaceful. You expect to enjoy being able to let go, being able to notice the pleasure that you experience in your body the pleasure that you experience in your mind. Becomes so strong. So strong. And that tug of war. The positive side the relaxed side, the peaceful side, just pulls it and it comes away almost so gently, no straining necessary. It just slides across so that that side wins so very easily peaceful, calm, deeply relaxed, so that you feel more at home with these feelings of comfort, deep, deep peace. So relaxed. So relaxed. Letting go. So peaceful. Letting go. Mm -hmm.